Extra memory? Check. Opened up 2013 Mac Pro that sounds like Darth Vader? Check. Let's upgrade some RAM. Today's video is made possible by Squarespace. Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD. Thank you guys very much for the awesome feedback on my late 2013 Mac Pro unboxing. If you guys did happen to miss that, I will have it linked right below that thumbs up button and also annotated right here just in case you have those turned on. So first and foremost, the late 2013 Mac Pro has four upgradable memory slots, which maxes out at 64 gigabytes and uses 1866 MHz DDR3 ECC memory modules. Before we jump into the actual upgrade process, I want to take a look at the actual configuration options from Apple just to give you guys a look at some of your options. The baseline quad-core model comes stock with 12 gigabytes of RAM. You can bump that up for an extra 100 to fill in that extra slot at 16 gigabytes. You can jump up to 32 for an extra 500, and you can max that sucker out with 64 for an extra 1300 George Washingtons. Now jumping over to the six-core model, this is going to come stock with 16 gigs of RAM. So four, 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 and four, it's going to max out your slots. You can bump that up to 32 for an extra 400, or you can max it out at 64 for an extra $1,200. Now, if you're going to go third party and you want to upgrade yourself and save a little bit of money, the going rate right now is about 440 to 450 bucks. You can see crucial for two 16 gigabyte sticks is $439.99. And then jumping over to Mac Mall, they carry Axiom memory. So again, two 16 gigabyte sticks for 449. And I actually picked these ones up simply because they had them at my local Mac Mall where I was able to find the Mac Pro in stock. Now, OWC is also another brand that I've always had a good experience with. But if you look here, for 32 gigs, you're looking at four 8 gigabyte sticks. So this is actually going to max out every slot in your Mac Pro, as opposed to if you went with Crucial or Axiom, those two are going to leave two open slots and the ability to upgrade down the road if you desire. This also brings me to another point. When you are configuring your Mac Pro, let's say you're going up to 32 gigs, you say it's 400 bucks. I'm not really saving that much money going third party. Same thing with the quad core model. 32 gigs is gonna cost you an extra 500. So maybe you're only saving 50 bucks if you go third party. But again, just like the OWC modules, these are 4.8. So you're filling out every single slot as opposed to the Crucial or the Axiom. You're gonna leave two slots open and the ability to upgrade down the road if you want to. Now pricing, of course, it does fluctuate. It goes up, it goes down. And actually the same Crucial kit for 439, I actually found on Amazon for 391.51 at the time of this video. So if you went ahead and bought two of these kits, you're looking at 64 gigabytes for under 800 bucks as opposed to the 1200 on the six core or 1300 on the quad core model. And of course, for the cheapest and most up-to-date pricing, make sure you guys check out the links I have posted below. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure the Mac Pro is powered down and then unplugged. We'll then go ahead and make sure the lock on the back is slid to the unlock state. And from there, we can go ahead and begin to take the casing off of the Mac Pro to unveil the insides. Now on the left and the right of the ins and the outs, you can see we have four memory slots, two on each side. And on top, there's gonna to be a little button right here that we're gonna go ahead and kind of push open. That's gonna release the RAM modules. Now once we have both sides open, we're actually going to remove every single module that is currently in there. We actually note on Crucial's website, it says installation of 16 gigabyte modules requires all previous lower density modules to be removed. You cannot mix registered and unbuffered memory in the same system. Now me, of course, because that is what I do, I tried it anyways, and this is actually what happens if you mix the modules. So as you can see, that is sadface.jpg, and the Mac Pro is kind of screaming at you, do not mix the RAM modules, take them out of me. Now I know I kind of skipped ahead, but I just wanted to forewarn you just in case anybody wanted to try that. Jumping back into the actual installation part, now that we have everything empty, I'm actually gonna use only the first two slots since I have two 16 gigabyte sticks. So I found that it's easiest to install the one closest to the inside first, so we can go ahead and pop that in there. Don't be afraid to give it a little force. We're gonna look for a little click just to make sure we know it's in there.
once these second stick is in there, we can go ahead and lock everything up. Now, if you had extra sticks and you were gonna max out the Mac Pro, obviously you would repeat the same process on the other side. But for me, I only have two slots to fill in. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock up the empty three and four slots on the right. And from there, we can go ahead and close up the Mac Pro, plug everything in and power it on. Now from there, we're pretty much done and ready to go. All we have to do now once the Mac Pro is powered on is head up to the top left hand corner to the Apple logo, click about this Mac, and you should be able to see the correct amount of memory now installed into your Mac Pro. You can head over to the more info tab and from there we can go to the memory section and you can see in this case we have 16 16 and slots one and two and i have slots three and four empty and open for future upgrades down the road so that about wraps it up thank you guys very much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you found it helpful if you did and you are feeling like being awesome as always a thumbs up is much appreciated now before i hop out of here i want to give a huge shout out to squarespace for making this video possible now, if you guys aren't aware, Squarespace is one of the quickest and easiest ways to set up your own website. So if you've been looking to set up your own tech blog or website to complement your YouTube channel, they have over 20 customizable templates. Everything is drag and drop and optimized to look good automatically. So if you're on your desktop, laptop, smartphone, or tablet, it is going to look awesome. They have an awesome 24-7 support team based out of New York City, and pricing starts out at just 8 bucks a month with a free domain if you sign up for a year. Now, Squarespace was awesome enough to hook up you guys who watch TLD with a free trial, no credit card required, and 10% off your order if you use it, decide you like it, and want to keep using it. Just make sure to use the offer code TLD12 at checkout. That's going to get you an awesome deal, and you guys can help support the channel at the same time. Aside from that, again, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did miss my 2013 Mac Pro unboxing, that is linked down below and also annotated right here. If you have any questions on the Mac Pro, whether it's configurations, upgrades, or just tech in general, hit me up with a comment down below. The absolute best way to get a hold of me is on Twitter at TLD Today. That is linked down below along with Google+, Facebook, and the gear that I use to make these videos. Again, this is Jonathan with TLD, and I will see you guys very soon with some more 2013 Mac Pro coverage.